Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I'm the Serious JG. Someday, some distant beautiful day, we'll be playing this game rather than watching the story. But we're not there yet. I cannot let you can't move back to this castle. No appreciation whatsoever, eh? Well, I don't get any reason to stay here anyway. Hey, you know where the name might be? He hasn't visited the castle since we returned, which is nice because if he did, I would have to kill him. Maybe he could teach you a thing or two about proper manners. Well, ha, ha. Oh, never mind. Okay, I get your point. I've had enough of your self-righteousness. <gasps> Drop the letter. What? Uh, uh, perfect timing. Take me into town. That'll work for you. I'm so angry right now, I could shake my fist around. <gasps> but the letter, oh my god, Iko's letter. Oh boy, I remember this. Ah, so it was Steiner. I thought I heard him yelling. Sigh. If only he knew how my loins burn for him. Sorry, making that up. But. Alexandria is at peace again, yet my heart is full of sorrow. Why? Is it because I'll never again wipe out Zidane and his whole party? Hmm? Steiner must have dropped this. Let's see. Oh my, this is saucy. When the night sky waves the moon as its pendant, I shall await you at the dock. What? What is this letter? It says here, from the di the time I first saw you at Madain Sari, where you rescued me from life amongst a bunch of moogles, I knew I would forever be yours. Did Steiner... write me a love letter? Steiner. Dagger. Are you all cozy on your throne already? Yeah, so what if I'm drunk? <laughs> no. No, no, no. It's no good. Can't do it. I can't start my day without Dagger. Her smile. Her voice, her voice is like a beautiful song, and her song makes me soar high into the sky, like a bird up in the sky, I never go around in circles, but now. You can still fly high, darling. Except I'm British too. So though you can do it. She's right. Why are you still moping? This isn't like you at all. Yeah. Stop it. You don't understand how I feel, even though I just said. Whoa. Long time no season, eh? But, uh, uh, by the way, there's like a six-year-old girl that's desperately in love with you. Wrote a letter about her, you know, meeting you on a dock at midnight or some shit. What happened? You look pathetic. Like, like Titus, only with a tail. He doesn't even exist yet. <laughs> Boss. <laughs> Boss, is it true? Are you working for the Russians? Let me join Tantalus again. We can steal treasure together, just like old times. Treasure, hey. There ain't much treasure lying around this world, boy. Besides, Tantalus always gets what he sets his eyes on. Uh -huh. That's our rule number one, remember? What if I decide I want Ruby? <laughs> no, you don't. You got no right to join us. You understand what I'm saying? For real, though? If you can't even capture a canary, you ain't got what it takes to join Tantalus. Wait, are you kidding? I'm like more powerful in combat than all you guys put together. Boss. 
Big boss. Hey, Zidane, can we go see Dagger? Shut up. <laughs> well, uh, 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 why can't you be more honest like this little guy? He obviously wants to nail Dagger. <laughs> he probably wants to do butt stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Well, uh, uh. Hey, what the fuck? You were just... Well, at least Uncle Senna checked to make sure I was okay. Can we? Can we? Please? All right. But I'm going to pretend that it's only you who's interested in seeing her. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it. It's to give you an in. Let's cheer her on before she becomes a queen. Yeah. And honestly, even Vivi, I don't know who the heck we're going to have in our... Like, pretty sure we'll have Zidane. I'll, you know what? Do I know we're going to have Zidane? We've jumped around and not had Zidane in the party before. <sighs> Freya and Amorite will join the party. Nagata will be waiting. Da, 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 da. Oh, spoilers. I guess Freya and Amorite are going to join the party. Take a bow, da, da, da. Trying to see like what the next uh, next time we'll have uh... Wow. I guess we will get some control at some point soon, but... Alright, I'm just gonna have... I shouldn't have unequipped uh, Vivi, though. So... What do twist headbands do? Oh, maybe that the stuff I want to actually have equipped for... Uh, Leveling people up may have actually changed. Madness, I know. Alright, let's have the whole video taken over by this for a minute. Let's see. That is not the file that I need. This twist headbands, I remember, uh, that's a recurring Final Fantasy item, but it might actually be a thing in these games. Uh, oh, he can actually learn something from the twist headband. So, bandana, I think, is speed, uh... Twist headband is strength plus one. Bandana is spirit and speed plus one. So bandana is actually better than I realized it was. I thought it was giving me just speed. It's giving me uh, spirit and speed. So it is better than twist headband. Although twist headband increases strength, which I think can go up to 100, and speed and spirit can only go up to 50. But I think speed is the key thing for uh, Zinu. But I'm also kind of looking like Ritual Hat and... You've got Mage's Hat. Let's see what all the hats do. Yeah, I guess we got some hats along the way, uh, maybe at the uh, store where we made uh, items from other items. See flash hat, which I don't think we've got. Feather hat, which I also don't think we've got, do we? No, we got feather hats. Feather hats give you spirit plus one. Steepled hats give you strength plus one. Ritual hats give you strength plus one. Mage's hat gives you magic plus one. Thief hat gives speed plus two. We don't have any of those. Alright, so some of these, like Mage's Hat, they're not really doing anything for us, so we still want Bandana. We still want the Magic Armlet, I think. At least for VB. Enkai Armlet. Magic Armlet is Magic Plus 2. Yeah, we definitely want Magic Armlet for him. 
Robe of Lords. What does survival vest do? And do we want that for Vivi rather than these fancy robes? I know it gives you something because not that many of the armors for these guys do anything. Spirit plus two. Because some of these robes, it seems like the robes would be awesome and most of them aren't doing anything. Magician robe is magic plus two. Guess that's what you'd want for VVA. Uh, Cleanse robe. The light robe for those light days. Robe of Lords is speed and strength and magic and spirit plus one. Yeah, that's just the best overall thing. I do wish I had more of these, to be honest. But they are a pain in the butt to get. Feather boots for auto float. Auto float a very situationally useful kind of thing. You know, I'm thinking I only have one and I should teach it to Zidane first. He's got nothing else to learn from these things. Angel Bless teaches thievery. All right. Thievery is... Um, I'm waiting for that one. i really been waiting for that one. Thievery is the thing that we've been doing all this, like, stupid stealing of shit that doesn't matter for. Because thievery is a special attack he has that costs MP, and the damage it de deals is based on how many times you've stolen. Yeah, I meant to give him, uh, glass buckle, not coral ring. Deals physical damage to the target. So we'll have to see, but I mean, if, um, I mean, I remember reaching a point in the, in the, because it ignores defense. It just, its damage formula is calculated based on how many times you've stolen, and the enemy's physical and magic defense is not part of the calculation, which means that's the kind of shit that you use against optional super bosses. I do remember reaching a point where I had that and one or two other attacks that were doing, like, uh, damage, like, they were doing the damage limit. There's nothing in this game that allows you to break the damage limit. So I'm pretty sure that it's, like, 9999 nine, nine, nine damage is the most any one turn can, can, or one attack can do. Except, unless it's something that hits multiple times, in which case each hit could theoretically be boosted to 999. Nine, nine. But yeah, like, Zidane has an attack that does 999 nine, nine damage if you just go around stealing all the freaking time, which is, of course, what I did. What a career change, huh? Wake up, Maggie. I think I got something to say to you. Here's an active time event. I forgot about these. Darn, I forgot to give Zidane that letter. Huh? 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 My parents. Gwa uh, uh I lost it. Gwa uh, uh Who cares about that little girl and her dreams of happiness with Zidane? Gwa uh, uh. Okay. And then Clowns and a Dark Knight will happen eventually. Here's the day now. Go to the mini theater where Gil awaits us to go to the dock. Oh, cart. But there's money for us in here somewhere, apparently. Last night's play was great. I'm so glad I pushed myself to make a great sign for it. Where is money supposed to be awaiting us here? Oh no, the mini theater. Money awaits us at the mini theater. Oh, oh. Mm. 
gonna make sure since I just switched them over to stuff that will teach him uh, spells. Yeah, Zidane is not just about to level up, so it's okay. Oh, the, the family that was causing trouble has gone. If my husband can't run a business to save his life, so I'm trading my son, Hippal Arlor. We're not staying here, lady. Thank you for running around with me earlier. That's supposed to be a picture of the queen, I wonder. Yeah, poor Hippal. He's just like some fat kid who likes playing with collectible cards. And uh, would steal his treasure and make him exercise throughout this game. He did nothing to deserve this. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was so surprised by this guy saying, I'm Ashley. I'm in this mini theater with Ruby. <laughs> Look at me, aren't I clearly an Ashley? Nice to meet you. Are you drunk? Grots. Oh no, Ruby's mad. It's gonna be a long wait. Is there anything we can do? We are. You should stay away from Ruby for a while. We're supposed to get money here. Where's my money? I just don't want to feel like I missed anything. I mean, I obviously don't need cash. Here we go. 2,680 gil on the floor. Don't get me wrong. I ain't like I'm mad or anything. Alright, and we go to the dock for a scene. My kitten Mittens has run away. Can't imagine where your kitten might have gone, kid. Hey, Mittens is up. I don't know where to serve after the new Queen's coronation festivities. Oh, I wish that she, yeah, that cooked for Princess Garnet's birthday party would come back. I've been a man of the sea up until now, but lately I've been considering piloting airships. Regent City of Lindblum invented an airship that can fly without this. Can you believe it? I wonder if they'd let me get on that airship. Probably not. Why would they? Do you know? Oh, okay. Ah, damn it. What did he say? Yeah, we've seen that before. I thought these were the docks. I guess these are not the docks. The Dukes. Ride the Dukes. You don't get to go up there. The ultimate treasure's up there. Hello. Hi. That kid lost his kid. Poor the kitten has lost his mittens. <laughs> Hey, it's Ticketmaster. I'm here to charge you a 205% surcharge. <laughs> oh, this is the dock. Uh, that Zidane doesn't even stop by to say adieu. No, that's not adieu. Adieu is thanks. Au revoir is goodbye. Hello. Does not even stop by to say hello. How could I have possibly remembered that French for hello is hello? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? What are you staring at? Are you really that tough? Try me. I don't go looking for trouble. But I'll fight back. Trouble finds me. 
Why don't you apologize and maybe I'll forgive you? Ha! Ah. Stop right now or I will charge both of you to disorderly conduct. And then you'll be forced to put on masks and become the Texas Hangman. <laughs> oh, Bobo enjoyed that joke. Hey, what's going on? Respond. Is it then? I'd love to stop and talk, but I'm busy right now. Is she a friend of yours? I'll fix her wagon. Then tell her who I am. Tell her I'm the flaming asshole. Sorry, I'm a ranch. She's just a little worked up about something. Sorry, babe. They're my friends. Hey, fuck you. Now you're under arrest for being a douchebag. Will you let them go for my sake? Well, if you are the queen's sugar daddy. She's not really a sugar daddy. It's more like her bit of rough trade. Sh sure, Princess Garnet asked us to give special treatment to you, Master Vivi and Miss Freya. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> How am I going to be a world famous thief if I'm like, you know, whatever. It's fine. I guess I shouldn't be complaining about having this awesome position of, uh, you know, special treatment by the uh, government of the most powerful country in the world. Dagger. I, I see. Thanks. Hey, how far does special, uh, special uh, favor go? Does it include, like, weird sex stuff? or? Hey, Freya, stop being so mad, all right? Do you know I am really mad? Uh, because Sir Fratley disappeared and forgot about you? No, because you didn't say hello. Yeah, sure, that's what it is. It's because of you. Where have you been? That girl's about to become queen and you're off wandering about. Um, I was wandering around, like, you know, racing with Hippo and stuff. <laughs> He's actually been sitting there drunk. Have you found out anything more about Kuja? Well, answer me. Um. Well, I tried to find more info, but. Look, if Kuja was responsible for taking daggers at Dolan's. And killing Braun, who was working with him. Don't you think he'd come after Dagger again? I know. I was kind of hoping we could just ignore that problem and it would go away. Or at least if we ignored it, he'd show up and attack and then we'd know where he was. You know, murdering us. But what can I do? I couldn't even talk to her, remember? I don't even know if I can protect her. I thought you were going to say we have no lids on where Kuja is. This is a much wussier predicament. Besides, she's going to be queen. She'll have all the guards she'll need. Wait a minute, are you kidding? Like, we were able to, like, outsmart our guards, and Kuja is like a dragon and she... She won't need me. Zidane has to... Zidane... Well, that's... Sorry. Vivi... It's hard to say how Vivi is responding to this. He's a child. He may not understand. He may understand all too well and be like, oh, poor Zanane, I know what he's going through. Freya has to be thinking to herself, you know, ah, you're a man, you should be tougher. But deep down inside, I know the pain that you feel because Fratley no longer remembers me as much as I need him. I know your sorrow. The two guards are probably thinking like, our poor queen. We know how she thinks of him, yet it is not meant to be. Their fates are not entwined. And Amran has to be like, what the fuck? What little pussy? <laughs> but Zidane, I think Dagger wants to see you. Besides, you're married. <laughs> to which the guards and Freya and probably even Amran go, what? <laughs> yeah, remember you got married by those weird gnomes? <laughs> so... Let's go see her. Yeah. But we'll leave as soon as we're done. Yeah, we'll have like, uh, what do they call it? Breakup sex. That'll be it. <laughs> we'll have like the freakiest breakup sex ever. And then we'll go our separate ways. It's a day. You're not getting away from me. You still owe me your rematch. All right, then. At SummerSlam. Suit yourself. 
All right, well, now we got a full party here. Oh, wow, Freya is uh, quite a few levels behind, too. She and Steiner? Yeah, well, we get Steiner back. Those two will be way behind. So she... Uh, she's got a whole different... Uh, Oh, Lamia's Tiara is probably her level up item of choice, to be honest. If I'm being brutally honest with you guys. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, he's gonna have a bunch of new skills to learn, too. Oh, White Draw she was getting from Emerald. That would explain why she had a little bit of it learned. Not as much as I was afraid of. Gamble defense, I don't know what it does. But we probably want to get auto haste going on her as soon as possible. And then a boy here, uh... He doesn't really have a lot of new stuff to work with. You can probably learn uh, Auto Float sometime after Zidane does. I'm gonna kind of assume that uh, Mithril Gloves and shit are still the best gear, like, you know, if we're, we're trying to level up. Let's see. Thief Glove, which I don't think we have. Or Thief Gloves, I don't think we have those. And they would give Speed one. Speed is her worst attribute. Speed is what we want her to get most. But I think it's her worst attribute because there's not that much stuff that helps her learn Speed. Bronze Gloves will do Spirit plus one. Mithril Gloves are the same. Genji Gloves we don't have. Oh. All right, so that's why she has Mithril Gloves, because they do Spirit plus one with slightly better defense. So what is it? The other things that she has are probably Gauntlets. No, she just has a bunch of gloves. And most of them don't do anything. Got it. And then she's got Mail, Cuirass, and Armor. So what the... Uh, damn it. Clicked off of what I need to be in. Plate mail is uh, the old sp spirit plus one. That's the most boring uh, generic of the things that do something for you. But at least it does spirit plus one. But she has Ninen Cura, so it's probably spirit plus two. That's probably why she's using it. Oh, it's magic plus one. Hmm. Interesting. And then she had armors. Grand armor. Which I don't think we have. Is strength plus one. Gold armor is magic plus one. We don't have it anyway. Genji armor we don't have. Diamond armor we don't have. That's strength and magic plus one. Alright, so it looks like our choices for her are magic or spirit. Which one do we want to raise? And there's... I think a lot of her specials are based on things other than magic. But raise wind. Like, she has a, a healing type spell that is based on magic. Yeah, I do feel like we probably want to raise her magic. Because her spirit should hit 50 through leveling up just with, like, regular old crap equipped. And, of course, she'll, she'll have access to the super sweet lady level up stuff. Like Kachusha. I forget what Kachusha does. I just remember it's, it's good. Speed plus one, magic plus two, spirit plus one, yeah. most of So she's getting a tiny little boost to magic as opposed to a tiny little boost to spirit. But she should be able to level up all the, you know... 
Everybody, I think, if you do it right, everybody's spirit gets maxed out at 50, and spirit touches a bunch of stuff, but it's primarily your defensive stat. Um, so there's not that much sense in worrying too much about always having... Because, like, for people who have, like, very little gear that does too much to help them level up, almost everybody has, like, a piece of armor or two that gives you a slight boost of spirit. Now I'm just kind of thinking survival vest versus brigadine... Br Brigandine sounds like it should do something. Yeah, this is everyone's favorite video. Me searching back through this list. Brigandine doesn't do a damn thing. Unless I spelled it wrong, and I didn't. No, Brigandine doesn't do anything. So survival vest, I think, is just... Or Adaman vest. Sounds like it might do something, right? Bronze Fest is Spirit plus one. Demon's Fest is Magic plus one. Survival Vest is Spirit plus two. Power Vest, we don't have that strength. All right, Adam Vest doesn't do anything. Yeah, so... So people who can't wear robes and shit are probably going to be wearing Survival Vests because it's going to get their Spirit Max as fast as possible. And then once people hit 50... Uh, there won't be any point to it. And we're out of time. <laughs> so I managed to waste uh, waste this the end of this video on this stuff. I will go ahead and get a... Uh, because I had been keeping it on all the time anyway, but I need to make a point of... Uh, getting ability up back. You know what? Back attacks are part of the game. Just have these always on, just in case they sneak up on you with something... that you need it for, or like, you know, you lose track of who does and doesn't have, uh, what does gamble defense actually do? Raises defense occasionally. Well, it's cheap. It looks like it, it looks like it's something with no downside that occasionally helps you, so yeah, gamble defense, why not? All right, so I'm going to call it a video, and when we come back next time, we're, well, at least we've gotten through our... Well, you know, we'll have Steiner back <laughs> at some point. But yeah, we're, we mostly seem to be done with equipping people for stuff. So yeah, we'll come back next time and maybe eventually get to where we're actually running around doing combat again. See you then.